Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to create an advanced calendar in Android Studio. So here you can see this is our demo application and we are we, ha we are having a calendar which is month wise, right? This is September month. If I click on next, it becomes to October, it comes to November, it goes to December. So this is a month wise calendar and uh, yeah, in by using this plus button at the bottom, you can add the events to the particular date. For example, let's say Diwali. I want to add an Diwali and location let's say India or you can add your home address as well uh, and let's uh, give a description here whatever you want you can do it and do you need this reminder of calendar all day or not so you can select a particular day from here and time from here right uh, or else you can select all day by clicking this button on and uh, you want to uh, ring a voice or ring a bell uh, when the, when this day comes you can select it here for before 10 minutes before the 12 minutes or at the same time or you can also select no reminder after that uh, you can select the color of your uh, event which will be shown on the calendar you can also select custom uh, color from here whatever you want they select you and you can select the name of that event i can say diwali and okay and uh, do you want it should be repeated if yes you can select it from here or else ignore this and click on tick mark and now as you can see it has added diwali on my 8th of date uh, and on the same date i previously added christmas and here we have a search option from where you can search any of the event you want for example i type d and showed me diwali as well as christmas you can type anything here and uh, the event starts with that name it will show you after that let's go back and see what more feature it has now as you can see this is month wise calendar and you can change it as per your convenience for example you need a calendar about daily via daily view so as you can see this shows only my today's day what reminders i had set now the next option is weekly, weekly view it will show me the only week um, i mean the seven days of week uh, what I want, what events I had uh, added on in this seven days. After that, in monthly view, it will show me the monthly calendar. After the yearly view, it will show me the whole year with 12 months and all day. And single event list. This will show just show me the list of the events that further are going to come in my calendar. Right. So let's change it back to my. Uh, from here, I can change change view to monthly view. Now here we are having many more other options. For example, go to date. Uh, you can select here a particular date, and we we'll go to you will go to that uh, particular date within the year or any year you can select from there. You can also add the holidays to here that uh, which holiday you are having and in which language you want you want it should be calendar shown. Uh, you can uh, you are having n numbers of languages here. I mean all the languages you can select any language to customize this calendar and to change the language of this calendar. After that, uh, if you want to uh, change the color of your calendar, you can change it from settings. So you can uh, also you are having 24 hour time timeline of this calendar if you want to change. Currently, it's in 12 hours timeline. That is England time. After that, uh, uh, you can also tick this on if you want to vibrate your phone while uh, your event comes when it will ring. You can select the ringtone from here which ringtone you want for the reminder there are some by default ringtones available in this app as well as you can also select custom ringtone uh, from your internal memory after that uh, you are having many more options such as snooze option for how many times uh, you should snooze your reminder after that uh, we are having and uh, uh, you can also change the uh, grid or the linear layout type of structure I mean the UI of uh, this calendar from here as well as you can also change the color of your uh, color of your application from the setting part and you are also having import and export settings from where if you want uh, to export the whole calendar and with the events that you had added into it and the reminders you can export it by clicking on this export events by clicking on this export events in ICS file as well as you can also export in text file that option is available in settings right so you can also add your contact list into this calendar 
so whenever anyone's birthday comes from your contact list at that time it will also, it will automatically <coughs> shown in your calendar so you can do this so by clicking on this and it will uh, you, can, you just need to select the calendar uh, contacts from here and it will import it into this calendar so this is the calendar which i was going to show you here and uh, now it's time to like have a look on the source code of this uh, calendar application so head back to android studio and you just need to go to chrome and search for the uh, this simple calendar which is created by simple mobile tools and the link of this github repository i'll give you in description just download this project by clicking on this code and download zip and extract this uh, zip file in your windows uh, or macbook and when you will extract this you will get a project like this just open it in the android studio these are all the files of this uh, project and in here you are having a layout directory and in here you are having the ui design of your calendar project so basically this app is open source and you can use this app to build your own app you can customize it you can modify it and this is open source application so this is the source code of this application if you have any query or any problem while running this project or any uh, doubts regarding changes in this uh, app just let me know in the comment box or you can also mail me the mail id is in description so hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching